Hello, my friends. Merry Christmas to you. From my family to your family, I send you the warmest greetings, and I send my love to you. I wish that I could be with you in person to tell you this, but this is the best that I can do. Let me tell you about our Christmas because we celebrated it early. Last year in Houston, it was around 70 degrees at Christmas time, and I, I told my family that next Christmas I wanted to have a traditional Christmas experience. Well, we went to Chicago this year. I took my family to see Hamilton, the play. That's not easy to get tickets to. Uh, we were going to go to New York, but we couldn't get tickets to Ham Hamilton until like June or July of next year. Well, Chicago, I could get tickets, and I got them at the last minute, and we jumped at the chance. Also, while we were there, we saw Phantom of the Opera, which was a delightful experience. Chicago was cold. It was definitely winter. It was definitely not 70 degrees. It was 18 degrees below zero. I kid you not. With a wind chill. <laughs> Real temperature was probably, I have no idea, like 35 below. So I bought the entire family parkas. Not easy again to get in Houston, but I got parkas where we could literally climb the highest mountain in the world or go to Antarctica to see the penguins and not be affected by the cold. We put on our parkas, underneath our parkas, several sweaters, thermal underwear, hats, gloves, the the chemical things that heat up on their own to keep in your pocket, to keep your hands from freezing off your body. And we walked around Chicago. On Saturday night, uh, last Saturday night, we were in Chicago. We arrived. We walked about four or five blocks. It was snowing. Then we walked to the park, and there was ice skaters and, and recorded music of uh, uh, Bing Crosby singing about Christmas, the lights on Michigan Avenue, the huge tree, and we were still cold, but absolutely filled with the Christmas spirit beyond belief. Then the next night, we went to see Phantom of the Opera, and then on Monday night, we went to see Hamilton. Oh, what an, an incredible Christmas that we will remember for the rest of our lives. And that's my prayer for you. I pray that you have an incredible Christmas wherever you are, that you remember for the rest of your life that you remember the smiles and the warmth and the specialness of each person that's there. I pray in your memory that you're able to literally like videotape it where you remember everything, where it's not lost later on, where you are savoring the moment, not allowing it to go past too fast. Oh, I pray this for you. I pray every blessing of every good thing of God can come into your lives this Christmas. And I pray that for you in the new year also. I pray that 2017 is the best year that you've ever lived yet and that it is filled daily with God's blessings. Merry Christmas, my friends. I send you my love, and I send you the highest thoughts of prayer that I could possibly send for you to find happiness and warmth and love in Christmas and beyond in 2017.